The first time I heard the name Land Rover was from my grandfather, but the name became synonymous with two particular industries, police officers and tow trucks. However, the new 2020 Land Rover Defender will never see any of those duties, but we've brought it to the right place to see if it will live up to the Defender name. Land Rover reopens the book on one of the most iconic badges with the all-new Land Rover Defender 2020. Its boxy shape and retro details recalls the 1950s originals and combines it with the modern Land Rover design language to create an appearance that's both sophisticated and nostalgic. Now, I know the exterior has changed a bit and it has split opinions. If it's actually a looker or an ugly car, to me, I'm actually on the fence of this one. It looks like the demon love child that is between a Land Rover Discovery and the old Land Rover Defender. So, yes, it has that off-road rugged ability, but look rather. Uh, the ability, we will test that a bit later on. But so far, so good. The Some of the classic styling cues from the old Land Rover Defender are still there. We can see the Alpine mirrors up here. We can see the high ground clearance and coming around the back. It actually looks more of a Land Rover Defender because of flat. Um, surface on the back together with the integrated spare wheel and the tow hook. This is actually more Land Rover Defender S than the rest of the car but I'm not saying the styling is bad but it's different. While the 2020 Defender looks like an ordinary crossover, it has some serious off-roading capabilities and rugged components to help it live up to its go-anywhere heritage. So now that we are done looking at the exterior of the car, let's look at what has actually changed the most, the interior of the car. The new Land Rover Defender is actually furnished with some of the best technology you could find in a car. And this is a an off-road vehicle that is usually just taken to muddy areas, but look at it. It has this 10-inch display over a thousand charging ports. The Defender boasts durable cabin finishings, but also upscale materials and numerous luxury features. So what's new for the 2020 Defender? The Defender's cabin walks the line between premium and utilitarian with just enough design cues from the rest of Land Rover's lineup to make up for the familiar brand feel right at home. Exposed rivets in the door panels add a particular rugged appearance and a magnesium beam that runs the full length of the dashboard isn't entirely cosmetic, it's also structural. And of course, every model features all-wheel drive and locking differentials for navigating treacherous terrain. The engine that comes in this car is the standard one that comes in all new Land Rovers. That's the four-cylinder turbocharged engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, another fun fact about the Land Rover Defender, it doesn't come in manual, but you have the option of upgrading the engine to a six-cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 400 horsepower that's the most powerful power plant that you can find in a Land Rover Defender this one produces about 300 horsepower which is more than enough when all is said and done we've driven the Land Rover Defender on road and off road we've seen what it's capable of and yes it is better than the old Land Rover Defender it's a mishmash of the Discovery the Range Rover Sport and the Land Rover Defender's off-road capabilities rolled up into one. It is a very capable car. This car retails for 17 million shillings and this is not the top tier. The six-cylinder turbocharged version of this goes for 20.5 million shillings. But would I buy it? Absolutely yes. 